Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to discuss about pair plot, reset plot and box and plot. So basically these three are the types of plots which we have basically whenever we just want to do some data analysis, whenever, whenever we basically uh, like used to do some EDA, okay, perform that EDA. So in that basically these three plots are more plots which we are needed, right? So what are the things which we are just doing in this particular series? So in this particular series, what I am just taking here is that I have just taken a particular library that is Seaborn, right? And whatever the plots are there in Seaborn, which are used to make the uh, like, uh, which I'm used to make the graphs and which I uh, used to study the data. I'm just telling you about all of that plots in a detail, right? So we are just discussing about all of these plots which are used for doing the exploratory data analysis in basically in a data set whenever you just got that, okay? So let's begin the lecture like video for today. And here what I have, I have a library that is NumPy, right? So libraries which I have imported is the first one is the NumPy. So I have written import NumPy as NP. So NP is the short form which I have given to this particular library, right? What next I have? Next I have import pandas. So pandas is the second library which I have here imported. And the name for this as I have just given as PD, right? Short form as PD. Third, I have Seaborn, right? So I have written import Seaborn as SNS. So in SNS basically is the short form which I have given to the Seaborn library. And moving towards the fourth, I have taken the matplotlib.py plot as PLT, right? So these are all of the libraries which we are just taking right here, okay? So we are just going to work over all of these libraries in this particular data set right so my data set is tips now i have not taken a data set which i have stored in my laptop or basically a device okay so this is a data set which is available online so basically this is a data set which is there in the seaborn library itself okay so I, like for that i have written here that t is equal to sns dot load underscore data set and in bracket i have written the name for that data set and it is tips right so this is basically the idea and then i have just tried uh, like doing all the things head stale and many more things i have just done that okay and if you just want to go and have a better idea what we have done previously so you can just go and have a look over the playlist which we are just like working right now okay that is the data analysis on tips data set right these are all the things which we have completed now today is a turn for the pair plot first we are going to see that basically how we just make the pair plots right so for that just let me quickly write sns bot okay firstly i would just Set a particular uh, theme, okay. Uh, set a particular theme, okay. So T H E M E, okay. And in the bracket, I would just write here as the style is equal to text. Okay, text means basically I just want it in the uh, the pair plot. Basically, what gives it gives uh, like lot much of data, okay. Lot much of like um, things from that data. So basically, what we just wanted that all of these things should be displayed in the x and y axis and basically in the proper way so that is why i just wrote here as style is equal to ticks now when i would just write the whole program and run then i would basically let you know that what is here ticks okay so for that you just need to wait for a little while so i would just write your sns dot pair okay so this is basically how we just write that pair plot okay so it is sns dot pair plot now what next i have next i would just put the bracket right and now here i will just write the name from my data frame and that is df okay and what i would give here i would give here a hue okay let's say hue for me is time let's say i just take this one okay so time is one of the columns which we are having right let me just quickly go above and let me show you that thing fine so this is time is one of the columns which we are having in our data. So just now I would just go down and let me just run this program, this uh, code, whatever I have just written. Okay, so basically it is saying me that df is not defined. So just me, let me check that what I have taken. Okay, I'm sorry. Here instead of df, I have taken t. Okay, so I would just write t here. Let me just again go down and fine. Here just let's quickly write here as t. Fine. Now let's run it once more and yeah, basically it will run and it is going to give you the proper plot. Basically, it will take a little bit of time because as I just told that it is a, like it is going to give you a lot of data, right? Now see here what you have just got. You have got many plots here, right? Scatter plots and even some histograms and all of that things you are just getting here. Now, what are you getting between? See, tip fraction and total bill, tip fraction and tip tip fraction size and tip fraction and tip fraction so these are the x and y axis on which you are just getting this uh, this plot okay now to study this plot 
we will not just not move into that thing for right now for studying all of these things you will just see it later but why here i have just taken as u is equal to time because here this blue and uh, like orange and blue color uh, things are separated right so this is because of the hue which i have taken okay now instead of this time i can even take one more hue that is smoker okay smoker it's m o p e r and we'll just run that so after running that uh, here also i would be just getting the required output and just let's let's wait for that because as i just told that it is going to take some time right so here you just got that so now here you can just see that blue color is like telling that smoker is yes on that particular date okay uh, date or whatever the color x and y axis values are being here okay and the uh, orange one is showing that it is no fine so i just hope you just got the idea how to make a pair plot okay pair plot using the c bond now, now let's quickly move towards the second plot for today and that is reset plot the i would just spell it as r e s i d p l o t okay right so just let me show you that how we just do the thing so i would just write here sns dot reset plot okay and i will just put a bracket so my data is equal to t right my data is t and i will just give some x and y columns so for x i would be just giving as small t and i would just give it as total bill okay total underscore bill fine i would be just doing the same thing for y also for y i would be giving it as something tiff fraction let's say tiff fraction okay uh, tiff fraction now now what i have here i have one that is lunas okay i would just not show that thing right now just like run this program for a while okay let me just quickly run that fine see this is basically what is called a reset plot now here you can just see your uh, like margin right so below that you have negative values as well so this is basically what is called as a reset plot this is how you just make it now in this basically you have some more parameters let me just quickly write that so here we have one parameter that is color okay so let's say I just want the red color. So I would just write color is equal to R. And yeah, you can just see that blue dots have, have changed into red color because I have written the particular color is equal to R. Now what next I have? Here I would just write lowness. Okay, L O W N E double S. Now what does this basically means? So I would just not let you know right now because as soon as I'm gonna run the program, you will just get that thing on your own only. Fine uh okay l o w n e double s okay basically it is showing that lowness is equal to true finally let's see that what's the thing and i i don't know okay just let me check out that thing just let me delete it for a while okay fine let me just put that bracket now let, let me just run it once more fine now it is basically not taking that lowness let's not go into that thing for right now we just cover that thing in the last of this video okay but uh, like before that let me let me just quickly show you how to make the box in plot itself this is the last part which we are just gonna make for today okay let me just write here as sns dot box in plot okay sns dot box in plot i will just put the bracket i would just write x is equal to let's say i just take the x parameter as day fine i would just take my y parameter as the fraction so tip underscore fraction now what i have here i will be taking color now let's say i just specify a particular color that is b okay now i just want the scale to be linear okay i'll just write here a scale and linear okay and what else i have and i need to write that what is the name for my data so my data is data is equal to t and i would just run that fine so here you can just see that here we have got the boxing plot so this is basically what boxing plot looks like it is something like um something like box plot right it looks something like that yeah so basically this is the whole idea about making this boxing plot that how you are just gonna do that thing fine so we have just made that thing uh on x we have taken days and on y we have taken the fifth fraction now if you just want to change the color let's say from blue i just want to take uh r that is red right so i will just do that thing and yeah you can just see that the color has been changed here to red fine so this is basically how you just make this box and plot now let's quickly move towards the reset plot for once more and i would just try to write this thing in the next line here i would just try to see the syntax basically okay so this dot and here i would be just writing as reset resid reset plot and in the bracket i would be writing fine 
So here let me just quickly check lowness. Okay, it's lowest. Okay, in, instead of this that n, we have l o w e w s. So just let me do the spelling correct here. So here I would just write comma. I would write l o w e w s. Okay, is equal to true. And now I would just run this. Now it will basically not show me any error. And yeah, you can just see that. Now here you can just see that you have you have got one more red line, right? One is the dotted line, which is basically pointing that okay, this is the margin for zero origin. And another, you have just got a red line. So this is basically what is called as lowest is equal to true. Fine. So I hope you just got the idea that basically how this uh, pair plot, reset plot, and boxed plots are made, and basically how you're just gonna make all these things whenever you just got a data, right? So in boxing plot, what we have done, I have taken a categorical variable uh, and even a numerical variable, and I have just plot the this boxing plot between these two. And in this reset plot, I have taken both the numerical values. And in boxing plot, uh, sorry, reset plot, you are having a little bit of uh, lowness, so that spelling was right. Uh, sorry, wrong. Okay, so the spelling, the correct spelling is L O W E double S not l o w n e w s okay so that is the whole idea and we have even discussed about the pair plot so pair plots are the other plots which basically help you to give a better view and a proper view about your data itself okay so i hope you just got all the ideas that basically how you are just going to make all of these three plots if you're just going to get some data and someone asks you to make this plot right so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye